Good morning, folks. There's a lot to cover again here today. We've got space weather on the sun, some on its way to Earth, and some that's already arrived. We'll see space science, volcanoes, and solar climate forcing as well, and we are starting with the last 24 hours on our star. Big event up there the last day will be visible near the center. An M9 solar flare and CME that erupted from those central large sunspot groups we've been watching. There were some other peripheral eruptions as well, but those are not aimed at Earth. We are going to begin with the solar wind impact. You can see the spikes just as the UTC day began today. That was one of the glancing blows we've been waiting for, and it impacted moderately with a short-lived jolt to the magnetic field. It brought the KP index up over 4 for a bit and may cause some reverberations today. We've got two other glancing blows possible from previous eruptions, and then we have this. We are focused on that M9 that occurred yesterday evening, solid plasma push within the corona, and hopefully you can tell here the main thrust was northward rather than directly outward towards the Earth. That is exactly what we see on coronagraphs as well. The majority of the CME is heading northward, but not all of it, meaning it is the third glancing blow we still have on its way to our planet like the others. It is not expected to be major, and while we could get some geomagnetic storms this week from the combined impacts, it's not going to be a significant or scary event. We will keep watching for more. Easing into the science here is a paper reporting a newly discovered nova remnant in our galaxy. It's incredibly faint, requiring several telescopes and image stacking to spot it. Link to that is below. Up next, we're going to get a bit salty again. Folks, everyone knows the concept that volcanic winter is a potential risk. The more volcanoes, the more stratospheric injection, the more sunlight is blocked and the cooler it gets, just like nuclear winter. However, this article is trying to say that low volcanic emission of CO2 caused a global ice event in Snowball Earth. This is possibly one of the most backwards articles I have seen in a while. Last but not least, Two good papers showing how the 11-year sunspot cycle works the climate. The first one takes a detailed look at the tree rings to confirm the cycle and modulation. The other is on the combined impact of the solar cycle and the El Nino cycle, ENSO, on the monsoon. Remember, ENSO is one of the few things that even the UN admits is strongly worked by the sun, so when they say that the solar cycle and ENSO control the monsoon, it's almost like saying twice it's the sun. Solid confirmation article there. We greatly appreciate your support. We're watching the solar wind and our star for more eruptions. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now. It's 5 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.